Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to our foundation level sample paper discussions tutorials. Here we are talking about several sets of the ISTQB official sample papers and trying to discuss each and every question one after the other in order to help you understand the tips and tricks of uh, how exactly these uh, questions can be handled the best. So far we are covered with the three chapters of the set C and it's time for us to jump into the chapter 4 which is to talk about the test techniques. Again a very quick reminder that the chapter 4 has the highest number of questions in the examination that is 11 questions out of 40 will be appearing from this particular chapter so it certainly becomes more critical for anyone to look into and at the same time in fact the chapter itself is a critical one as we talk about the techniques and applying them during the examination right keeping it short and simple let's jump into the next question which is to get started with chapter 4 and that is question number 19. Uh, the question says what is decision coverage and uh, we do understand that decision coverage is all about uh, measuring the various decisions as a part of the given fragment of code and uh, just to highlight once again this chapter 4 and white boss testing techniques will no longer have no longer have the uh, programming based questions you will only have the theoretical base as uh, in the latest revision of the syllabus it has now become a k2 level question where we don't ask you to apply so taking it uh, very straightforward to the options here option a says the coverage of condition outcomes conditions are basically if uh, as in statement and that's not something what we measure as a part of decision don't forget statement testing something which goes with the condition coverage but decision is about decisions made after the condition is fulfilled because if it is true do this if it is false do that now what should happen when true what should happen when false are the decision outcomes so we do not test that as a part of the condition outcomes we test it as a part of the decision outcomes b decision coverage is a synonym of statement coverage no not at all they're both different there are no synonyms for that but yes decision coverage can be also called as branch coverage or branch testing but not statement coverage or statement testing statement and decision coverage are two different techniques c the coverage of executable statements and again that's making pretty much clear that I'm talking about statements here, so it should be only talking about statement coverage, not decision coverage, right? And the option D says the coverage of uh, decision outcomes. Yes, that's pretty much clear to understand that the decision coverage deals with decision outcomes, right? So putting it up all together, the right answer here is D, that is the coverage of decision outcomes, is the definition to decision coverage or relationship to decision coverage let's jump into the next question here that's question number 20 prior to an iteration planning session you are studying a user story and its acceptance criteria deriving test conditions and associated test cases from the user story as a way of applying the principle of early QA and test what testing test technique are you applying now this is a pretty much very uh, typical set of you know question what you can expect if you have observed my tutorials very carefully uh, the journey of each category that is 4.1 when we were talking about the categories of test techniques i have explained to you all these things you cannot tell me that this is talking about agile you cannot tell me that uh, this is not somewhere a technique like equivalence partition boundary value analysis etc right it's not talking about any one of them out of 10 techniques it is talking about the categorization and the basis in order to apply a particular technique they're telling you that we are trying to understand the requirement deriving acceptance criteria reviewing the requirements and based on that deriving the test cases out of it now which category makes use of test basis as requirements right so the black box test techniques are the one which makes use of requirement as a test basis in order to apply or as a basis to derive the test cases or black box testing techniques are only applicable when you have requirements. Similarly, white box testing techniques are only applicable when you have access to the codes and experience based techniques are applicable when you do not have formal requirements or probably you do not have the knowledge of code, but 
you do have past experience, knowledge about the domain, knowledge about typical defects. That's where the experience-based testing is applied, right? So I think that's pretty much very, very straightforward. The right answer here is B, that is black box testing techniques, which we make use of uh, to apply on this kind of scenario, right? The requirement becomes the basis to apply black box testing technique. It's not the white box, not experience-based. Error guessing is a type of experience-based. Looking into the next question, which is question number 21, and it says, which of the following is a true statement about exploratory testing? The very first thing what you need to do looking at this question is recall your understanding about exploratory testing and then start understanding that what explore, exploratory testing is all about, all right? And then you have to look out the options because sometimes the options can be very tricky and if you do not recall your understanding first, you might be getting confused confused with these options, right? So let's have a look on the option A. It says more experienced testers who have tested similar application and technologies are likely to do better than less experienced tester at exploratory testing. Absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong in this statement because experience-based technique is the category where exploratory testing falls. And as it is exploratory, that means you do not have really detailed test cases or detailed requirement with you, the knowledge what you have of testing similar product will only be something which will be helping you to perform this. So it absolutely fits the purpose of exploratory testing, but let's confirm with the other remaining options. Option B says exploratory testing does not identify any additional test beyond those that would result from formal test techniques. No. Ad hoc, being exploratory, always adds more test, right? It, it, it just does beyond the formal test cases. So say, for example, you applied EP and BVA, you got uh, 10 test cases. But if I want to achieve beyond those 10 test cases, that's where I go exploratory, right? So that's not something true, which is contradicting. C, the time required to complete an exploratory testing session cannot be predicate, predicted in advance. No, it's a time box test session all the time and the time limit is between 30 minutes to 120 minutes at most, right? So it's always time bound, time box test sessions. We just can't run an exploratory test session uh, the longer you want, right? So there's always a time uh, bound and defined uh, in advance uh, in order to do an exploratory test session. So C is also contradicting. D, exploratory testing can involve the use of black box testing, but not white box testing technique. None of them, right? Because exploratory testing is altogether a different category where we don't talk about the formal approaches of uh, testing a system. Neither black box nor white box are relevant or related to experience based. This is completely different and has uh, nothing to do with these two ca other categories, right? So D is also not matching with the expectation. So putting it up all together, the right answer here is A, the more experienced testers who have tested similar applications and technologies are likely to do better than less experienced testers at exploratory testing. So I hope that makes pretty much clear sense to all of you. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.